The following content is PG. Your discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back. Ooh. Welcome back to my channel. And guys, as you can see, Miss Marissa Golding is no longer missing. She is in the flesh. She is here and I look extra white today. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be finally reviewing Miss Marissa Golding. I have been looking for her all over and I got to give a big shout out once again to Ella J Plays for sending her to me as a gift with the swim dolls. Oh my God. <laughs> I am so happy to finally have her. This is like the first time I'm like actually seeing her in person. I never found her. Like I said, every time she was on Walmart, Walmart's website like I was just never lucky enough to get her and some people are just you know scalping me you know what happens when stuff say Walmart exclusive yeah guys I am so excited to be finally reviewing her she could join her friends I'm not gonna be doing a hair video for her because I'm pretty much just going to wash whatever product she may have in her hair but oh my god I'm so excited um let me just roll the intro right quick and we can get into this video shall we Hello? I just hit a Ariana Grande note Okay guys, so it's been a minute since I've done a Rainbow High review. Um, I got Robin and I just didn't review her because I saw my Brianna video and I mentioned this in Robin and Brianna's hair washing video. I just like, I took a break from, you know, Rainbow High reviewing, <laughs> but there hasn't been much coming out either. So it's like, but I wanted to review Marissa because I've been looking for her for so long and she's a champion sporting queen like I am. So I really want to just give her, you know, her moment, you know, and I'm hoping there's no defects with her, you know, we don't want that. We don't claim that energy. It says collect the rainbow and gold metallic flaunting and it says a series one marissa golding on the side it says a slumber party in a gold sharpie looking font and it also has a bunch of little sparkles i always thought that was cute that they do that with special dolls so like um for the rockers there's music notes and for winter break it's all frosted if i move on to the bottom we can see our special edition sticker on the side you can see it says rainbow high and it's gold flaunting and then we can see all three of the girlies in this line. As I said, I've reviewed her I a hair video on my channel, so I'll link to that below if I remember. On the side, it does say YouTube. On the back of the box, you can see all three of their artwork in full blown glory. You can see that it's a shifty rainbow kind of ombre background with all these sparkles. It says Rainbow High Slumber Party. And on the bottom, it says meet the leaders of the super secret sleepover society at Rainbow High. They're all about spa days, hot gossip, and total relaxation. And if you're still looking for like many people, are. Here is her barcode. I don't know what's going on with the production or whatever with this collection or if it's just Walmart being, you know, turd. Hopefully we all could find them in the new year. Just try not to pay scalper prices. These dolls are not limited. They're not numbered and they're not going anywhere. So just hold off and don't pay $80 for a resale doll. Okay guys, so I'm going to unbox her and we're going to get her out of this little prison she's in. And I'm so excited. Oh my God, I can't wait to get her all out. So let me just open her. Okay guys, so I finally got Miss Golding out of her box. And before I get into all of her details and all that kind of stuff, I'm just gonna show you exactly what she comes with. She comes with a rainbow high comb that is in gold. It's similar to Avery's. She comes with a golden stand. It is the new one with the new clamps that we got with the twins. And I love these stands so much. She comes with a rainbow hanger that's in gold as well. And a rainbow bottom hanger. She comes with this pillow, we'll look at it after this sleeping bag, second pair of shoes, and a second outfit. This is what I'm excited for. We'll look at this after. So, oh my God, I can't believe I'm holding, oh my God, I keep hitting the damn tripod. I can't believe I'm holding Miss Marissa Golding out of the box. Her hair is very, very, very crunchy at the end. So after this review, I'm just gonna go wash it. She needs it, she really does. <laughs> it has kind of an orangish tan skin tone. It's not as orange as Georgia's, but it's kind of, it's almost there, it's, it's almost there. She has a matte face, which I love and I appreciate because you know me, I hate the shiny faces. She has dark eyebrows that are very sculpted. She has gold makeup and some gold glitter above her eyeshadow and some brown right there. She has kind of these golden brown eyes. They're very pretty and I actually do love when Rainbow High does have natural eye colors. Um, most of the time, I feel like they always just tend to use blue and I have blue eyes. So it's like representation for me, but like they don't really represent like green eyes or brown eyes enough, I feel like. But also I kind of want to see like different like rainbow color eyes to like red and etc. You know what I'm saying? You know, cause these are fantasy dolls. So like, I feel like we could get away with like weird eye colors and natural eye colors, you know? Speaking of her hair, she has a blonde and a golden yellow hair. Now she's been under some controversy. Well, it's not her, her twin. <laughs> so there's going to be 
a Pacific Coast doll line coming out in January, and there's a doll that looks strikingly familiar to this doll right here. I'll put her right here. Her name is Harper, and I feel like it's her long lost twin because they look so identical, like from the face to the hair. It was just like, was this her prototype? <laughs> her hair, by the way, is pulled up in a half up, half down style. It's held in with this cute little scrunchie that has a print of chains and some white details as well. It's super cute. As for her mask, she has a black mask that says rainbow that's embroidered in the middle with two little studs that are gold. It's pinned into her head at the moment because we haven't taken it down, obviously. It kind of has like a bronzy lipstick and she is showing some teeth. And now we're going to move on to her hideous earrings. I hate how big these are and these are actually just, you know, they're coming out right now. Yeah, that's a lot better. I don't know. They're just too big for her, especially if she's going to be going to bed. I, I just feel like that would just hurt. Do you know to sleep in, you know? Oh, and by the way, she has a little mole under her eye. If we move on to her outfit. Now, I always thought she was like very boxer inspired. Like her outfit just very much looks like she's about to fight. So she's wearing a gold kind of satiny material robe. Has black lining around the edges and on her hood. If we look on the inside, it is lined with a different print. And it says RH and little dots all over. On the side, it says rainbow in a patch that's white and has black embroidery this is the rainbow and for the cuffs they are black with gold chain details they're super cute and since i'm at her hands she has gold nail polish and if i flip her around the back says sparkle and white she also has this black tie so you could tie this around i haven't unpinned it from her outfit because i'm probably not going to do that if we look at her actual outfit under her robe she's wearing this kind of sports bra that has a black netting up here and it's gold and black it says rainbow los angeles and on the strap here it says rainbow built in gold. I really like the mesh details. I want more dolls with mesh. <laughs> if we move down to her shorts, they're black and have a gold line going right here leading into a sparkle pad. And there are real pockets that she can actually put her hands in. There's some gold and bronzy gold right there and a little RH logo that's white. And the bottom has this chain detail. And like the others, it's just an elastic band so there's no Velcro. If we move down to her feet, she's wearing black socks that have a rainbow R logo that's supposed to look like the champion logo right there. I actually have socks like this and I'm actually wearing them right now. Love that. And if we move down to her actual shoes, she's wearing these little slippers that are of a cat that has that same print that's all over her sleeping bag and her pillow. It's a bunch of just embellishments. It has a cat tail, some ears, and it has button eyes and a button nose. They're actually really well painted and I love them. Okay guys, before I get her into her second outfit, let's actually just look at her second outfit. So let me move her aside. So to keep with the champion theme that she's got going on, she has this black crew neck sweater that has the rainbow logo right there, mocking the champion one. And on the side, you can see the R, which is supposed to mock the C that champion has. And it's on both sides. And just like every champion item, it has a little embroidered patch that usually says C, but instead it says R because it's, you know, rainbow eye. And it's actually a nice material and it does have Velcro in the back. And for her pants, they're the same material as the shirt. They're black. They have a gold aglet hole right there and this embroidery thread that that is also going to help you loosen the waist so you can put it over because she has no velcro in the back it is all based on this and how tight you want it there's that patch again there's no real working pocket on this outfit and it says rainbow right here and rainbow right there and again it's so simple and i love it i can't wait to put this on other dolls including boy dolls <laughs> who fits it you know what i'm saying and if we look at her shoes she's wearing these platform sneakers that are white and gold with some black details right there they're kind of giving me adidas vibes a little bit there's some paint chips right there but i might just try to scratch them off okay guys i'm going to go put miss marissa into her second outfit and i can't wait to see what it looks like oh my god so we are being and here she is in the champion fit, or I mean rainbow fit. I really love it. I mean, am I surprised? I, I was going to love it either way. Um, I'm probably not going to display her in this. Um, this is just going to go to another doll that I am already excited to put it on. <laughs> um, again, the shoes, not my favorite. I was going to actually put the socks over it, but I feel like that would have just been too much black. I mean, I do that in real life, black on black on black. I don't know. I just feel like it would look weird with the shoes or socks, you know? But all in all, the outfit's actually really good. And none of the clothes are really defective, which is really good compared to my Brianna on her first outfit because of the little tabs that they you know connected with so i'm happy to say that miss marissa does not have that problem her hair is looking a little mm. I'm gonna definitely need to wash it right after this, but uh, I love her so much. Okay, before I get her back into her first outfit, let me show you the sleeping bag in detail with the pillow. So the pillow is actually made of like, this really cool material. So like, because it's screen printed, you can really just feel all that. And it has a really long tag. They all do, but it is pinned in place pretty nicely. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. And you'll never know that there's a tag behind there. But basically it is a black pillow. It has some chain details all over it. It says R right there. And there's some circles that are showing 
a white spot that have little black cheetah prints and it's super cute and I actually really like this pillow a lot. If we move to our sleeping bag it's going with the same motif of black with the chains and the white spots and you know the cheetah spot. The inside is the same material as her robe that kind of gold satiny material with the metallic rainbow gold fonting. This is R8 and all these sleeping bags have an actual pull zipper that you can actually pull to open. I've been keeping mine just like this not undoing them too much but I guess you can actually roll it up like this and make it into like a backpack of some sort but again I'm just gonna keep it like this so when they are on display maybe in a few weeks they're gonna be just like on their sleeping bags and it's gonna be so cute and I really do like how it matches her pillowcase and it's just ugh, I love these sleeping bags so much they're actually really cute you could just like lay on top of it because you know most people sleep like this and then when they get cold they put their covers on so good for her okay guys I'm going to get Marissa back into her first outfit and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on her so BRB okay guys so I put her back in her first fit and I don't know why but I'm standing this lighting from this entire video like why can't I get it like this all the time <laughs> anyways guys I am very pleased that this doll has no defects the only one I could really find is she has like this little dent in her like head but I mean it's kind of not noticeable so like eh. Does it really count as a defect? Not really. I'm a lot happier that the outfit isn't very ruined due to these little pins that keep it in like this in the box. So I'm happy that hers isn't as bad as Brianna's is. If I could change one thing, I would probably add Velcro to this because it's very hard to get on and off the doll's, you know, hips. So it's like, you know, like it's gonna wear out fast. So just be wary with that if you are giving this to a child or anything like that. But all in all, I am very pleased with Miss Marissa. I cannot wait to wash her hair like right after this video. Like instantly, I'm gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna put everything back on this desk because you know it's always a mess and I just wash her hair like instantly but I gotta give a big thank you to LJ plays again for giving me this doll and the swim dolls uh, I mean I would have never probably found her in 2021 if it wasn't for them you guys please go give them some love on their channel I'm gonna link it in the bio below and I'm just so grateful thank you so much guys that about wraps up this video I believe Marissa is a good doll to add to your collection I give her a 9 out of 10 only a 9 out of 10 because you know her hair is crunchy <laughs> but okay guys that ends today's review if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I would love you to join the channel. We are all icons here and you could be one just like us. You know, consider your options. <laughs> if are not following me on Instagram or TikTok, it's at ZombieXCorn as well. And guys, I will see you in the next video. So, bye for now. Actually, wait, I put um, Tough Guy <laughs> in the outfit. The shoes are very much killing the vibe. But, oh, look how cute he looks. Ah! Okay, now bye-bye.